guys. So if you follow me on social media, then you would know that I just went to Orlando, Florida, and our family was taking a big trip to Walt Disney World, and I was requested to do a haul. So I decided to do a collective kind of summer slash Disney World haul, um, just to show you guys what I got for back to school and all that. This haul is pretty big. So just kind of bear with me and I'm just going to go ahead and get started now. All right. So the first place that I went was Victoria's Secret and they had these headbands and I just kind of like them. So I decided to pick one up and this one is pink and gray and it says pink and it's also reversible. So the other side is black and gray and it has a little dog on it. And I believe this was like a 95 ish. Then if you don't like this, um, just kind of fast forward through this part I got a bra because they were on sale for 35 I believe and they're normally at 55 50 so I just went ahead and picked up this black and gray one and if you've never tried the these sports bras these are the most comfiest things in the world this is the ultimate sports bra so the straps are reversible and I really really like this one and I think I have two or three other ones just like it and it's really all right great. so the first article of clothing that I got was these boyfriend sweatpants and oh they were $39.95 hopefully you can see that um, they're just pink and they say love pink on the side and these are really comfy. I don't really typically wear sweatpants to school because I kind of like to dress nicer and makes me feel better about myself but um, I like to wear these around the house and like working out and stuff so these were I think they might have been on sale for like $30 I'm not sure I don't remember but uh, yeah then like I said, um, this is a collective haul. So I got this a few months back and I just never wore it yet. This is another, or this is a crew sweatshirt. And this one was $49.95 as well. And all the items that I purchased were in a large. So it has a little dog on the front. And then it kind of has these like little jersey like cutout things. And then the back just says pink and it's like tropical print. Then the next piece of clothing that I bought is like another one of those oversized shirts and this was $49.95 and it just says pink on the front and this one's like ombre and then on the back it says pink and then pink a little bit smaller and I like to buy these I like to wear them a lot with like leggings and boots or something and they're just really casual and comfy and then I did buy one more and this one was $49.95 as well and it's a large and this one is tie-dye and it's two different shades of blue and then the back just says pink and this like rubbery kind of material I don't know what it's called but um, I will get a lot of wear out of these I wear them constantly I have like probably like 12 of these so uh, the next place that I went was in Florida, and it was a clearance Nike store. And I only bought two things there, but everything was extremely clearance. Um, I just got these Nike shorts there, and yeah, they're just blue. And these were normally thirty-five, I think, and these were only fifteen dollars. So that's a really, really good deal. Um, if you ever go to Orlando, Florida, I highly suggest this little clearance it's like a little clearance um, outlet area and they have like a clearance Nike a Disney kind of merchandise store uh, some different stores like that and it's really good um, I also bought this hoodie and it was originally $70 and as you can see it was only 25 so that's really good and this is a men's hoodie I just really like big loose hoodies it just says Nike Air um, I like really big loose hoodies just in the winter to wear with leggings and boots like I said it's just really really comfortable or tennis shoes or whatever so I love this alright so the next place that I went was Deb and since Deb was is closing or was closing 
um, all their things were like on sale. So I got these high waisted black skinny jeans. And they're just high waisted black skinny jeans. Nothing about them special. Um, they were $36.90 and then they were on sale for $25. And then that was an additional. It's like an additional half off or something like that. Or 75% off. I don't even know. But they were like around $12. And yeah. Just basic black skinny jeans. Then the next place that I went was Buckle. And I really wanted to invest in a good pair of jean shorts that don't stretch out when you're wearing them or any of that. So I picked up these are the Rock Revival jeans, right? Yeah. Um, they just look like this and the back is super cute. Sorry, these um, things are washing out my lighting. But, um, these are a size 34, yeah, and these were really, really expensive. These were like $140, but I only bought two pairs of jean shorts this whole summer, and the other pair is dirty, so I'm not going to show those in the haul, but they were just these basic, um, shorts that were on sale at Dillard's for like 40 bucks. And the next thing I picked up was a pair of these Sanook, 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 I don't know, flip-flops. And they just look like this, and I believe they were $40. Um, I got a pair last year, and I literally wore the crap out of these. So I decided to get another pair for school or whatever, and I've been wearing them a lot. And these are the comfiest flip-flops I've ever tried, and I have a wide foot. So I kind of have issues um, trying to find shoes that fit my foot correctly and these are really really good all right so the next store that i went to was vanity and everything in the store was half off so i just decided to get two pairs of leggings um first i got this fleece pair and they're just really soft fleece on the inside and these were 14.95 and then half, half half off of that. So they were like $7.50. And I'm just going to get a lot of wear out of these. So yeah. And then the next pair I got. Oh, and by the way, those were in a size large slash extra large. And then the second pair that I got are just these black high-waisted leggings. I don't know how much this is getting washed out. But they're just black high-waisted leggings. And these are in a size extra large, and they were $16.95. Half off of that, half off of that was like um, $8.58, I don't know. Something like that. So, once again, I'll get a lot of wear out of those. If you know me personally, you know that I literally live in leggings. That's like the only thing that I ever wear. I hate jeans. I feel claustrophobic in them. So, you will always see me wearing leggings. Pretty much, that's it. The next place that I went was to Old Navy, and they were having a pretty big sale. Um, so this year I think I'm going to be really into just like basics, and I'm trying to start wearing jeans more since, you know, I said I only wear leggings. So I picked up this shirt, and this was on clearance for literally $3.47, or $0.49, cents. and it's just this um, boyfriend shirt thing it's gonna be really hard to show these on camera but it's just this oversized boyfriend tee and it's blue and white striped and I think I'm gonna wear that with like just skinny jeans all these shirts that I got I'm pretty much just gonna wear with skinny jeans and maybe like a scarf or something um the next shirt I got was this white and black striped top it was $12.94 but I believe it was on sale for like eight dollars and it's just a little pocket tee oversized again and I got the same exact shirt in a blue and white stripe and then these next two shirts um I literally just picked up because my friend was wearing them and it's honestly the cutest shirt ever the way that she had it styled and it's just this oversized once again um I think this is navy I don't know if it's black or navy and white striped boyfriend tee 
but what's interesting about this shirt is like down the side it has these two slits and I don't know how well you can see that but they're just slits and it's on both sides and I just think it adds kind of a little something extra to the shirt and it's super cute and flattering and I bought that same shirt in this like kind of row or um rosy pink color I don't know I can't think of the word but uh same thing same concept this was looked super cute with this scarf that I tried on so I'm honestly super excited for fall because that is my prime time for outfits I always wear well I personally think that I always wear the cutest outfits in the fall so that is all I got at Old Navy the next place that I went was Rue 21 and I wanted to get these choker necklaces and I kind of destroyed the packaging because I already took them off. But they were each on sale for $3 each. Um, the first choker necklace is like this maroon necklace. And it just has this little, I mm, can't remember what these are called. Oh, dream catchers. And it's like black pearl right there. And this is super cute on. And then it came with this like basic choker but um, I don't really like it on me, so I don't know if I'm going to wear that. I picked up this, like, foot chain because I've been kind of into them lately for some reason. It's just this kind of multicolored foot chain, and it has these little golden feathers on them. And it's just super cute. kind of decided to pick this up because I was looking for a little foot chain. So the next place that I went was Urban Outfitters, and I love the bags that they give you, by the way, because they're reusable. Um, the first thing I picked up was this BH Cosmetics Neutrals palette, and I believe this was $20, and I have been literally using this every single day. It is so good. The quality of these eyeshadows is literally amazing. I literally, oh, I can't even describe to you how amazing these are. Just like, they're like such rosy and brown tones, which is really great because I've been trying to get into rosy shades more and I'm wearing this palette right now and I'm just sort of obsessed with it at the moment I got this um, probably two weeks ago and I've used it every single day since I have not even touched my other palettes because this one is seriously amazing I'm thinking about going online and ordering some of the other BH cosmetics palettes because these are amazing quality okay, next thing that I picked up at urban was were these sunglasses and I just, um, I actually forgot my sunglasses, so I had to purchase these in Florida, and they just kind of have this black and white clear speckled, and they're just white in the front. They're really big, and they kind of make a, like, I don't know, I feel like I'm making a statement in them, and I don't know, I just really like them a lot, so yeah. So I also got this little Japanese, um like chapstick thing and I can't find it anywhere so I'll show that to you I once I kind of at Marshalls and I got these hair removal wax strips and um, they were $1.99 um these are literally the worst product ever I tried them a couple times now and they're seriously not working so I don't know if I'm just doing it wrong or what but these are not good at all what I bought was this Soho or this London Soho New York brush and it's just compared at nine dollars and it was three dollars and it just looks like this and I have been using this a lot it's pretty good for just like blending out the eyeshadows in the crease so not really much I can say about it but it is pretty good for just blending and the last thing I bought was this um, the Body Shop Cocoa Butter Moisturizing Stick, and I don't remember how much this was. I want to say it was $5, and it's just this little balm, and it's like you put it on your elbows or knees or whatever, and I think I'm going to put this in my school book bag. This stuff is really, really moisturizing, and I like to use it after I shave, so yeah. Alright, so I have a proactive face brush, and it's kind of wearing out, so I decided I needed a new one so I went and bought this Olay Pro X micro derm micro derm abrasion sorry I don't know how to say this advanced cleaning system and it just comes with a brush two face washes and a 
uh, microdermabrasion, little brush head, and then a regular brush head. And this is what it looks like. Um, I it works pretty good. I kind of wish that the little face brush thing was bigger. Um, and then it has three speeds. You know the drill. Uh, it works really good. I believe it was forty five dollars, and then I brought bought two sets of these little um, brush replacements. So each set comes with two, and I think these were like ten dollars each. I'm not sure though. I uh, don't really remember the prices, but yeah, this is a really good brush, and I recommend it really. It's actually helping to clear up my acne a lot ever since I started using it, so yeah, this is a really, really good All right, brush. now I'm going to go ahead and show you all the stuff that I bought in Florida um, at the Disney parks and stuff. Uh, I really didn't buy that much stuff just because it's really overpriced, and I didn't really need anything um, not really like a huge Disney kind of character person, so I didn't really buy that much, but, uh, first I want to show you, um, my grandparents went to Florida a couple months ago, and they got me this, I just haven't worn it, because it's been like 105 degrees every day, but, um, they went to, what is this called, Pompano Beach, Florida, and it's just another one of those crew sweater shirts, like I wear, but this one's just shirt material. And it just says Pompano Beach, Florida again on the front. And if you're wondering a price for these, I saw the tags. Um, it was $26.95 and this is an extra large. All right, now into the Disney Park stuff. Um, I bought, if I was going to buy anything at all, these were the things that I was really, really wanting to get there. And they are the Disney Vera Bradley Collection. And I bought this purse these were the only things that I could find that were like averagely priced I really didn't want to spend more than $50 per item so this is just a basic Disney pattern very Bradley it's just kind of like cartoonish looking oh and excuse my nails throughout this video I just took my acrylics off so they're absolutely disgusting um but this bag actually I think this bag was $50 I accidentally got rid of the tag for this one but I have the tag for the next item um it just has this pocket on the back where you could put your phone and then kind of open it up in the front and it's plain on the inside just pink and then this has a zipper component and then what I really like is you can lift this part up and um oh this is for our hotel we are part of the Wyndham Club and then you can just like there's some slots for your cards and more room so this bag actually has quite a bit of room in it um really and super excited to use this bag the next very Bradley item I bought I've been using and I'm obsessed with um this is a tag it was $50 it says a very Bradley wallet and I haven't even took the little sticker off yet oops um, this is the absolutely, this is absolutely, <clears throat> this is absolutely the most beautiful wallet ever. Um, it has these little Mickey Mouse you can see on there and it's so pretty. And then you open it up and there is so much room for cards. It's not even funny. Um, I just have some gift cards, Starbucks, some other things, and then has two slots for money. Um, I like to put change on one side and then like my other money, but um, yeah, so this wallet, oh, and I was gonna show you. Um, the inside is super cute. If I can get these cards out. Um, it has like mini little Mickey ears, mini, uh, Mickey and Minnie ears everywhere and they're just super, super cute so the next thing that i bought at the disney park store uh were these mini ears and these things are ridiculously priced uh i think these were 18 dollars, and i got the cheapest ones that they had but um i just think they're absolutely cute i when i was there i really wanted to feel like a little five-year-old so i think i'm just gonna wear these for the rest of the video um now uh, also the little things that they put your card in it. 
or the little cards that you have to use to get in for the ticket. Um, I just bought this little lanyard, and I'm probably going to use this, like, for my keys or something. But, yeah. And then I bought this Florida hat. These were just at little, like, gift shops that were there and stuff. Um, and this hat was $13.99. just this really pretty floral hat, and it says Orlando. So I bought this at the Disney stores, and it was $15.00. Um, it's like a darker pink, and then it has Mickey Mouse on it, and it says Florida, and the Mickey Mouse is actually like felt, so it's really cool. Here was that little uh, Japanese um, chapstick from Urban Outfitters, and it was eight dollars. Hopefully it's not broken because it would not, they would not let you open it. Let me go ahead and check that. No, oh, but it has a flat top. And it's just this pink color. It's really sheer and yeah, kind of pointless. But uh, I just bought it because it was Japanese and I thought it was really cool. And they had a whole bunch of other stuff, but it was like 30 bucks for the other stuff so I just decided not to get it and I, the next thing I bought were these uh, birthstone earrings and not sure how much they were but I want to say they were like 20 or 30 dollars and they just look like this they're just these little hanging earrings and they have a little mini mouse that's pink for my birthstone which is October and then I also bought another pair um, these are just the little studs and they're also pink for October. And then I just bought two of these little bracelets in Florida. This one has some little turtles on it. And then this one just has a little seat. You're probably going to think I'm absolutely crazy. But I did buy four pairs of shoes this summer. And I'm just going to go ahead and show those. The first pair of shoes I've been wanting for such a long time. They're just basic white Converse. And, um, uh, I think these were, um, I think they were $40 because I had a coupon, so whatever. But, uh, just white Converse, nothing really special, but they just go with everything. also bought these shoes at the Nike clearance store, but I just kind of wanted to save the shoe portion for the end. Um, they were $50, and they're just these, sorry, I don't have them tied, um, kind of, they're like half circle shape. Uh, teal Nike, what are these? Nike Free 4.0s. So I really like those. And $50 for a pair of tennis shoes, let alone Nike shoes, is such a good deal. The last shoes that I got were two pairs of Birkenstocks. And these are almost kind of gross because I've worn them every single day of June. Not joking. So <laughs> these are the... Mary, 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 I don't know, Birkenstocks, and these were $90, and I think, what color is this? I don't know what color this is, I call it like a pearl, it's kind of like a pearl finish, they're really pretty, and these are size 11, if you're wondering, all my shoe sizes, 11, these were $99.99, and... I've only worn these once, so that's why they're still pretty new. These are just like the basic, like, tan kind of color Birkenstock, and I'm really obsessed with Birkenstock. What I hate, though, is that the, you get a huge blister until you wear them in, and wearing them in can take a while, any of you who may know, but they are really cute, I personally think, and yeah, thank you guys for watching my collective haul i know it was a lot and i'm sure this video is going to be really long as soon as i finish editing it but yeah so go ahead and leave me any video suggestions that you may have in the comments down below i know that i got a lot of feedback on my last video which was the confidence video on instagram a lot of people were messaging me and talking to me about it and i really do appreciate your guys's love and support it actually means a lot to me go ahead and thumbs up this video if you liked it bye guys